in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed don't have you see the way God has built us we're more we're more concerned about souls being saved lives being reached especially in a conference like this and it does not matter whether we're doing it in Abuja here or in UK or any other part of the world so yes we'll be open to allow viewing centers but the only issue and I'm responding to this officially now please we would not want to hear that any viewing center is collecting money from anyone to connect to the conference if you are availing your homes your churches uh, and i'm saying this especially to the international community you just feel like we do now there are people right now uh, having you know probably hundreds of viewing centers across the globe connecting um, to help people follow koinonia now if that is what you intend to do you have our blessings on it but please, we will not be happy to hear that any persons or any viewing centers are charging people to follow the conference. Not even the auditorium. We have not charged any man. We owe no man nothing but love. And we also want people to be comfortable as they follow. Uh, we're only doing registrations for the purpose of organization. Are we together now? So all viewing centers... Um, Air our teachings you have the liberty to do so television stations you can be at liberty contact our media department and we'll give you the liberty to air the conference if you want to but provided God's people will not be put under any financial duress please we're people of integrity and we may take measures as appropriate if we do find out that any persons are charging people and manipulating people this is something that is against our culture as a ministry but then it will be an honor to have people across the globe make their homes their various platforms available for the conference i have told you that we are a very pro kingdom ministry our greatest promotion is not joshua selman not even koinonia it's a privilege for us to be part of the revival that is sweeping across the nations from Africa to the ends of the earth and we're not alone in this so it is an honor uh, for us to have many people just support what it is that we're doing especially by making the uh, live coverage available so please and please again one last time let me reiterate that for those of you who have requested to be given the liberty to air the programs will give you that liberty your viewing centers particularly for all other platforms please do contact our media department and our media and productions team both here and our productions team in uk they'll be glad to advise you appropriately i'm saying this because regions have laws they have broadcast laws and it's important for us to work within the jurisdiction of what um, is permitted hallelujah let's hold hands together with someone by your left and right and in one minute let's just invest prayer into the uk conference just make declarations of faith while you are seated and for our family following from across the globe i'd like us to just declare in the name of jesus that it will be an outpouring indeed upon europe uk the neighboring nations we are coming in the name of the Lord. He said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That there will be a reign of salvation, a reign of revival, that mighty apostles and prophets and teachers and pastors, men and women will be ignited with genuine apostolic fire 
in the name of Jesus declare over the team living from here to the UK declare over delegates who are coming from all across the globe and many around and across Europe who have traveled already and those who are on their way I like us to declare that it will be a seamless program no hassles no issues not with government not with law enforcement agents is someone praying the conference is everybody's business decree and declare pray over the workforce pray over the spiritual climate across manchester the uk and europe in general that in the name of jesus the fire that has been lost for many many years and decades that it will please the lord to use this conference to reignite again the sound of revival we are praying as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are praying as a global family that in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, curses, yokes, foundational covenants that have bound people, territories, and nations would come to an end. The power and influence broken over Europe. There will be an emergence of people young and old bearing that light and that fire of salvation and revival once again this we decree this we declare we agree by faith that in the name of jesus this will be our experience that this conference will answer to its name for in jesus mighty name we pray for in jesus mighty name we pray all right, so let me have your attention. We're here for the miracle service. And I came here with my heart really boiling um, and insisting that for someone who came here taking God seriously, that you would not go back the way you came. In the name of Jesus. And for whole families who have come here asking, will God visit us? Let me answer you in advance. God will not only visit you, he will surprise you. Amen. You believe that? Shout a louder amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm sensing that someone is being healed from peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. I don't know who that is, but the power of God is coming on someone who has suffered peptic ulcer. This is what I just got that, that impression in my spirit. You have suffered particularly peptic ulcer. This has caused a lot of, of discomfort. This is someone you know you have it. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be healing for you now. Let there be healing for you now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone coughing, throwing up something. I don't know what it is, but this is what I'm seeing. This is like something demonic in that person's body. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, every planting that is not by my God, I command that demonic planting, whatever it is, let it be uprooted from your body now. You believe that? Shout a louder amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I thought I would announce it later, but I saw this in my... I was just praying very briefly, in fact, while preparing. And I don't know if it's inside or outside, but there's someone you came with a walking aid, like a crutch. I just saw that vision now, again, repeated. I want you to lift it and stand up. Whether you're outside, your, your crutch, your walking aid, lift it and begin to walk. Whether you are outside any of the overflows, please lift it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Walk. Walk. Walk right to the front. Don't be afraid. Walk. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. 
So I submit to his work until Christ be formed. outside the Lord is showing me miracles happening outside crutches crutches miracles I'm seeing this outside please don't force them just make sure they are strengthened hallelujah particularly outside if they are not able to stand just give them somewhere to sit but this is what God is doing don't be afraid we're not we're not acting it here hallelujah number two there is somebody who came here um i'm seeing i don't know if it's a neck a neck a, a neck a collar or something to support yourself you could not move your neck this is what i'm seeing move it now come please check yourself whether you are inside or outside Don't be afraid. <laughs> Check your neck. Your, if you could not move your neck, please move it now. Move it now. You could not move your neck, whether you're inside or outside. Please, let's have a few officials. There should be one of the ministers outside so that you help manage those outside, any of them, so that you don't just um, punish people for nothing. Make sure that people are touched and healed. Hallelujah. In this miracle, in this ministry, we're not only, there is a grace called the walking of miracles. Hallelujah. The walking of miracles is not just people healed who will be announced. You will watch it happen as it is happening. It's, it's the walking of miracles. Hallelujah. Now, I'm, I'm seeing somebody who has been, is it coughing out? This is what I'm seeing in my vision, coughing out blood consistently will soon be seated but i just saw this in my vision and the lord wants to heal that person right now right now coughing out blood all of you please lift your lift the crutches whatever it is that you came with already god has done what happened to you madam can someone help her please don't leave her standing she looks yes i had two hip replacements um i'm uh, an ss patient and I came here for the Lord to change my um, genotype from SS to AA. And it's been causing all these problems. Not sure I, I got what she's saying. Someone um, help. I'm an SS patient. Sickle oh, you're an SS anemia. sickle cell anemia. Yes. Oh, sir. dear. And I have had two hip replacements on the same. You've had two hip replacements? On the same leg. On the same right leg. How long has this been? This is uh, the second one will happen on 25th of November, 21. And I'm still working with the stick. And, and you stick. believe Jesus to heal you? Sure, I believe in Jesus. I believe Jesus. You can hear me, yes? Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I bring you life. Life to your limbs. Life to your body supernatural strength right now in the name of Jesus you want to walk try walking go ahead yes stand by hand guide her two hip replacements look at what Jesus is doing how about you my dear what happened to you accidents on the same legs uh, several times you've had accidents on the same leg severally like 10 times can you see how you can see how satanic this is do you think this is a coincidence over 10 times the, they have done surgery twice but the the, the bone is lying parallel parallel it is not joining it's, it's not joining yeah. look at me you believe in Jesus Look at me. Don't worry about what you're holding.
go, walk, lift it up and walk. My dear, do this gently, carefully. Are you watching a miracle happen here? Look at this. She was even afraid to do it. Before. You couldn't do it before? Yes. Hallelujah. What, what happened to you? I had, a, I, had, I had a accident, I fell and broke my Please bone. stand up. In the name of Jesus, let me rebuke the spirit of accident. Everyone here, please listen and be very sensitive to prophecy. I'm praying prophetically over everyone here. If there is any programming of darkness that you will be a victim of accidents, let it be cancelled here permanently. Let it be cancelled here permanently. Let it be cancelled here permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Very touched by their stories. How do you have accidents in the same place so many times? More than 10 times. Yes, ma. I'm listening to you. Head and the, the lab bone got broken. So there was no money for me to go for, for surgery. But last year, September, I went for surgery. You went, oh, you are the woman who gave a testimony here? No. Okay. I went for surgical operation and they operated, but this right leg is already shortened. But they say they will still do another operation to straighten the bones. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a supernatural miracle right now. In Jesus' name. Would you want to walk? Move. Koinonia, celebrate what Jesus is doing. Now, I use these three people as a point of contact. That in the name of Jesus, everything that is broken, damaged, that needs a supernatural replacement, let it be replaced right now. Let it be replaced right now. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they return back to their seats. Hallelujah. Let me just minister to one more, one, one group of people that the Lord is showing me here. I'm seeing someone who, I don't know if it's that you pass out, like you literally faint. It's a situation where you feel dizzy and then, I mean, you can feel weak. Sometimes you can pass out. Is there someone like that very quickly? When, if I do mention your case and you are, you know, that is your case, please do indicate very quickly so we don't waste time. We have a lot to do. This is what God is showing me. Someone who just gets dizzy, whether you are outside or inside, you can indicate so that you come out here very quickly. Very, very quickly. That's your situation. H how long? For let, like, um, let them come. Three years now. Or For, more. Okay. How about you, my friend? Where are you from? I'm from Edo State. Okay. As a matter of fact, three Sundays ago, I passed that while I was ministering on the altar. You were ministering? You were a pastor? Yes, sir. And you, you fell down? Yes. They had to give me water, but to the glory of God, I still finished the message. <laughs> but... Is that not, you see several people outside? Our mother here, how long, madam? My own is often, always, small thing like I used to go out to preach. I'm a pastor also. Are you seeing, are you see what the devil is doing now? I used to go out for preaching, small thing yes. from here to here. I will, my body will be, it's like I will faint, I will fall down. So I will stop preaching, I will go back home. Let me hear from this woman, this mama. I'm having high BP and I have from my waist to down. I could not walk at times. I'll be feeling dizzy. I cannot do anything. 
You see, the thing I love about the Lord is with one revelation, he can solve several people's problems just like that. How do you come and what you are seeing out of the many cases here is people who are passing out or being weak or all of these kinds of things. I'm about to pray for you. This is a miracle service. Our assignment is to end the workings of darkness. You can see how the devil is trying to disgrace and embarrass pastors, disgrace and embarrass people. This mother is saying that she goes out for evangelism. That is not a good portrait of the, that is not a good marketing system for Jesus. When you are ministering and you pass out on stage, it's like the devil trying to bring mockery to what you are saying. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you now. Place your hand on your chest. Let me rebuke that devil. I can assure you and give you this information for free that a spirit is behind it. In the name of Jesus, even as the Lord has revealed, I stretch my hands over everyone here and every spirit, every demonic force that is behind this, this, this situation, I speak as one sent by God. In the name of Jesus, let God's people go now. Out of their lives now. Let God's people go now. Whether inside or outside, release them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you, every one of you, be healed from these seizures now. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for this woman, this fair mother. I'm seeing the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. I'm not a prophet of doom, mama, don't be afraid. But I command that devil to release you now. Out of her now. I shall not die. Play the strings for me. Believe and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. You're a man of God, a pastor yes, with your own church? No, sir. You are under a ministry? Not yet, sir. I was in, I go for outreaches. I have a healing outreach. I go. I visit different hospitals. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. I don't know you, but there is a mighty anointing. God is going to use you very mightily. Stand up. Two things. You have to manage. You see, when it has to do with ministry, you have to trust God for grace to choose the right association. Good people can be destroyed with the wrong association. Are we together now? Yes. And, and this is already a prophetic word, maybe for a man of God. You are as good as your association, not just your heart. You can be a sincere man of God intending to do ministry with integrity, but join yourself with wrong chariots and wrong people who will begin to push you to do things that at the end of it, you will find out that it is not Christ you are revealing. But let me pray for you because God is put, I know that we are here to pray for this issue, but in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. What's your name? Are you a pastor? Yes, sir. Marvelous. Yes, sir. Who is Marvelous? I'm the one. What is your name? Full names. Ezra Willie Marvelous. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Marvelous. May the Lord do wonders through your life. Amen. You will do ministry with integrity Amen. and the Lord will use you mightily. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Please place your hand on this lady, this one wearing a black, anyone, ushers, just place your hand on her. In Jesus' name, I command this spirit that is holding this girl's destiny, release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that every plague of darkness and of sickness, recurrent sicknesses, what God says to one, he's saying to everybody, if there is anybody here with a plague of recurrent sickness, I declare be healed now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. Be seated for a few minutes. The miracle service is already on. Hallelujah. Okay, let me respond to this now. You see, the thing about the water has been stirred is that once it is stirred, it's stirred. There is a family God is showing me. Nobody is working. One of you got a job, but they drove the person away eventually. Where is that family? It's, it's like there is a spirit. Intelligent people love God, but it looks like nobody is working. No job. Please make sure you listen to what I'm saying before you come out. You belong to that case. Please come out quick. Your word is coming right now. Come out quick. Nobody in your family is working. Please listen to the prophetic word. And for one of you, you got a job, but for some reason I'm seeing that this is, this is a wicked manifestation of the activities of ancestry. Come. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my life. Where are you coming from, my friend? This man. I'm from Benway State, sir. Benway State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah, God is going to visit people today. Yeah. Honestly. Listen, I want you to believe that as I speak over your life, believe that you will return with a testimony. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see so many people, there will be a rain of jobs. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing that I want to release upon your life. And you will marvel. You heard the testimony of that woman. If someone is America, this is a PhD woman who is there struggling, opening boxes. And a prophetic word comes, she puts her prayer request, and now she's working with Jeff Bezos. What is it that God cannot do in the name of Jesus? Let me pray for those in front, but you can stand maybe for your loved one. You can stand for someone you know who loves God with all their heart, but it looks like these doors have not been opened. In the name of Jesus, those of you in front here, I'm going to declare an anointing upon you. A mighty anointing will come upon you and you will return with your testimony. Right now at the count of three, those in front, I, I'm a kapat koto koto pa. I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that grace now. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare supernatural jobs I break the circles of stagnation career stagnation I command those circles be broken now be broken now be broken now I release supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for some of you it will not be up to three days from today write it down i'm telling you by the god who sent me my god will surprise you applications that you may have written for years that no one has called you over in the name of jesus we schedule favor on that wise for you in the name of jesus christ There is someone I'm seeing here, you work with civil defense. Civil defense, you are not part of civil defense. Is there someone like that? I just got a prophetic word. The Lord is telling me you are up the balcony. You are somewhere in the balcony. 
please verify. You work with civil, who is that person? Run, because a door, a mighty door is about to open for you. I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, you are wearing like lime or green up the balcony. I know what I'm saying. Just listen to me. Is there someone like... Who is that? Where were you sitting? Let's organize this now, please. Um, some of the leaders, please. Oh, please bring her to the front. Let me talk to you. My dear, give her the mic. Look at me. You had a dream some time ago and you saw this thing. Yes, sir. If I'm lying, huh? this afternoon. What happened? I saw myself like, like an award in the office. I want to pray for you because what God is about to do in your life will surprise you. Oh, that's why you came with your ID card. That's why I brought my, I told my friend sitting here, the lady of Bobble, I told her this afternoon. Where is I the friend? Her, look at her. I told her of the dream this afternoon. If you are not the friend, don't come here, please. Let's, please, please. Huh? Okay, don't worry. For sake of time, give me the ID card. Let me tell you the truth. Koinonia, hear me. We are in the days of his power. Believe this when I tell you. We are in the days of his power. You see why it's good to come to the house of God? This has nothing to do with a miracle service. Once your heart is opened. defense how do I stand here and know that someone has been praying had a dream there are things you cannot fake no my dear I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ because the kind of lifting that God is bringing will surprise you I prophesy may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus I hold your passport fire let that grace come on you now take that grace now in the name of Jesus there is a grace for visibility there is a grace that can cause people to know you are there as I've released it upon this lady let that grace land on someone's destiny let the may that grace rest upon someone rest upon a business rest upon a ministry in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit by this as a prophetic contact let an anointing rest upon your life you will come and testify in Jesus name this is the lady that came here first no no hold on this this you are the one who came here you work in civil defense yes, too sir. And you too, madam? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How long have you been there? I've been there for 10 years, sir. 10 years. What of you? 10 years, too. 10 years, two of you. Yes. 2012. Yes. Father, who is that? My friend. Why? You work in civil defense, too? I'm not, it's okay. It doesn't matter whether, I'm not saying if you work, you, this is just a word for them. It doesn't matter where you work. God is going to lift you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hold on. You... It was not too long ago you left UBA. Who is that? It was not too long ago you left UBA. UBA is a bank. Who is that person? God wants to change your story now. For those I have prayed for, you, the, the first set who came, God bless you. Please return to your seats rejoicing so that we'll hurry up now. Do you know I've not given my charge for tonight and you must hear the charge. Praise God. Faith comes by hearing. You must hear the charge. Please come. UBA. Is there someone like that? I'm not saying you are walking in UBA. You left UBA. Where, when did you leave? 17. 2017. Yes, sir. How about you? 2020. I want to pray for you. My people from civil defense, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ father you are wiping the tears of men you are changing people's stories in the name of Jesus I decree and declare may the Lord surprise you 
who came from Katsina Katsina I just saw that name Katsina when you find that person please don't tell lies huh please stand here Huh? What, what's she saying? Mama, be patient. Eh? We are going to pray. This one is word of knowledge. But since you have come, um, our mother is insisting that she's not well. We, are going to, we have a section to pray for the sick. What is wrong with you, Mama? Diabetes. I have a partition. Okay, that's, that's all right. Let's just honor our mother. She's, she's an elderly woman. It's okay. Mama, you believe in the power. That, that's all right, Mama. Don't worry. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray for you. You came from where? From Edo State. Okay, don't worry. You see, she left a long distance, so let's, let's just forbear with her. You see, it's to tell you that people are desperate for the touch of God. Are we together now? So sometimes we are excellent people, but we need to allow. Sometimes this is an elderly woman, and as far as she's concerned, whether it's a case or not, I mean, you don't do it, but at least since she has done it, let's honor her. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for. No, 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 please, Mama, stand. We pray for our mother. Let there be healing. Yeah. Hypertension, diabetes, every demonic thing we cause you right now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, Mama, we bring you life, back pain, every pain in your body. Let it go right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let's celebrate Mama as she goes back to her seat. Where is the person from Katsina? Yes, sir. Katsina? Yes, sir. Hmm. What do you do? I'm police officer, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I want to pray for you because I'm seeing them wanting to drive you because a pistol was missing. This is what I'm seeing. You yes, understand? Sir. I'm yes, not. Go, I'm seeing that you, you, like gone. Your rifle yes, sir. could not be found and you could not account for it. Yes, and this is a demonic thing because there is something God wants to do. I know you are a police officer, but there is a mighty man of God that God is training in you. Let me tell you the truth. God is, you see our police officers, there are, there are many people who will rise from the force. Write this down as a prophetic word. God is going to be, right from their academies, God will start raising mighty people. Mighty people. So I want to pray with you. You too, my friend. You came from Katsina. I came from Kogi State. I resigned from UBA Bank. Okay, you, okay, are you be a people? Okay, I'll pray for you. I don't know why God said you be. You see, when you are walking with God, just obey. You, it may not make sense why God. There are many banks, and I'm sure everybody wants. What you do is whether the word applies to you directly or not. You can once your faith connects to it, you can return with a testimony. In fact, do you know I can prophesy to someone and the person I prophesy to may not even receive the miracle because of unbelief. And someone who connected by faith will come back with a testimony. That is God for you. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ, my friend, I pray for you that the devil will not orchestrate an event that will indict you. There is a woman... Who is watching from Joss? Your son is a drunkard and you are tired of his situation. I'm seeing that mama crying right now as, as you are following. The Lord is saying I should tell you that in your lifetime, you will see God turn your son's life around. You are an elderly woman. You are watching from Joss. Your son has a problem with I think, and this thing has brought you a lot of pain. It's as if you gave birth for sorrow. Can I extend that prophecy for every mother here? In the name of Jesus Christ, for every mother here or anybody standing, any of your sons that the devil is trying to hijack, whether through drunkenness or any kind of addiction, here at this miracle service, we break the power of addiction.
We break the power of addictions. We break the power of addictions in the name of Jesus. So I pray for you, my friend. You go and return with a testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. And for those who left UBA, I don't know why the Lord asks that I bring you up out. But in Jesus' name, I stretch my hands towards you. I decree and declare, may the Lord himself, by this prophetic word, shift you to the next season of your career exploits. Whether you currently have a job or not, I'm speaking to you prophetically. Return with a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Am I wasting your time? Please don't feel bad, but there are two women. The Lord wants me to pray. Ordinarily, I would not call them to come out, but the Lord is instructing me. Young ladies, you had, um, you lost your pregnancy. And you are even here with your husband. And the Lord wants me to pray for you. This is something that happened, I don't know, maybe, maybe a few months back or so. And you are here with your husband. Come. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this God is too good. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because... Don't be afraid. I know you may cry, but it's a word of hope. God is not asking you to come and stand here to disgrace you, I assure you. He's asking you to come because there is balm in Gilead. This is a miracle service. I will worship him forever. Allow those who are coming to come. Husband and wife, come. To show you the kind of nonsense that the devil is trying to do over families. But we declare that the devil is a liar. There will be a massive celebration of miracle children. Don't sit back if you are in this category. God is calling you. I will worship him forever. Love forever because hallelujah listen the first word is a word of comfort please look up the bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old you see when god gives a prophetic word and please our global family learn from this when you are operating prophetically, number one, you have to know that prophecy brings comfort. Prophecy exhorts. This is not just a display of spiritual gifts. These people that God is bringing, you will be surprised that some of them right now, if God does not step in, their marriages may tear apart. Unfortunately, because of the kinds of cultures that we come from. For some of them, when there are prolonged issues like this, there's, there's bound to be conflict between the man and the wife so when God calls them like this it is number one to let them know that he's aware the Bible says for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities hallelujah let me comfort and encourage everyone here we stand as a ministry in love and partnership and in prayer with you but let me tell you, whenever you are having any challenge as a couple, there's no such thing as pointing your fingers to say you are the cause or you are the cause. When you stood at the altar, you agreed that two of you have become one. Are we together? So if the wife wins and the husband loses, they lost. If the husband wins and the wife loses, they lost. It is only when they win together that they truly win. Let me ask the ladies, if you can, as a point of contact, just place your hand on your stomach, if you can, and then I want to pray for you now. Remember not the former things. The Lord God of heaven is going to bless you right now. He will make a way for you. He will be your God. Holds you closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day 
He will make a way. He will make a way. Let me rebuke the spirits that are masquerading behind all of these demonic things. Father, I stretch my hands right now. If there is anyone here that behind these manifestations of darkness are evil spirits, unclean spirits, yokes, curses, all kinds of ordinances, I stretch my hands over you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I speak to you in the name of Jesus like prophet Eli spoke over Hannah according to ah, I'm seeing fire this is what I'm seeing I'm just seeing fire move over people Satan the Lord rebuke you release them now release them now release them now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now I stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost and I declare be fruitful fruitful be fruitful the Lord gave it as a command we stand as a ministry and enforce it over your life and as I'm praying for these ones anyone in the congregation who is trusting God for the miracle of fruitfulness fire is falling in the name of Jesus I declare be fruitful be fruitful Whatever the medical condition is, we veto it by the word of God. And we declare, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. And for those of you trusting God for twins, in the name of Jesus, we release twins. Those of you trusting God for triplets, in the name of Jesus, we release triplets. You will think it's a joke till you stand to dedicate them here. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. There is one of you here I'm seeing a spirit always appears to you. And this is something that also happened to your sister. They tell you they have visions where wicked spirits appear to them. Who is that person? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every foul devil that will not allow you enjoy your marriage. In the name of Jesus, we declare a separation right now. A separation right now. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hmm. Koinonia. You are here and your business is not working at all. I'm not, I don't mean you are rising, you are managing. It's like there is an attack. I want you to leave your seat and run and come and stand here. God wants to surprise you. Please listen to what I'm saying before you come. Let's be orderly, let's be obedient. You will not be down. Accept this anointing. Let me tell you the truth. What will happen? You will marvel and wonder at the lifting power that is in the name of Jesus. If you are, if you are in any of the overflows, just move to your LEDs. You may not be able to come here. Those outside, you can just move to your LEDs and connect by faith. Don't say it does not matter. This is why God has organized this to attend to the issues of people. hallelujah make sure that whatever business you are involved with is not a business that kills steals and destroys are we together yes we are not going to waste our time praying for people who are doing demonic things we, we, it's important that your value, that what you are doing is adding value to people and not something that is destroying lives. But I want to release an anointing upon you. You will be surprised, honestly. Are you ready? Father, you have anointed us for this purpose. There are people here who have cried. 
there are people right now as i speak you have gone down like it's not you are owing to the millions tens of millions hundreds of millions it's not business that will bring you out it's the prophetic that will bring you out i move from left to my right in the name of jesus at the count of three receive a baptism of the grace for excellence one two three take that grace now 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 i release you go and prosper go and excel go and prosper go and excel listen every business that has died here hear ye the word of the lord between now and the next three months i command come back to life Anyone here who is in debt, you are owing banks, you are owing financial institutions, you are owing and there is no way you can come out. I call upon Ebenezer, the God who helps men, and I declare unto you, come out of that financial situation. Alas, master, for it was borrowed, and he said, where fell it? I'm speaking to you again, in the name of Jesus. If there are wrong people in your business, I take them out now. And the right people who need to join your chariot, I bring them in prophetically. In the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards me. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. I place an anointing on these hands. Go and excel. Go and excel. In the name of Jesus, please return back to your seat rejoicing. Return back to your seat rejoicing. The power of God is coming on someone, but it is not for you. I'm saying that it's for your brother, but you are only receiving from him. He's not been promoted for nearly 10 years. This is what I'm seeing. He has been working. I don't know where he's working, but there's not been promotion at all. Do you know what it means to be in a place and you're just marking time there? I don't know who that person is, whether you are here in the main auditorium or outside, but in the name of Jesus, you don't have to come out. The son of the living God, I decree and declare that the anointing of the spirit lands upon your life and let there be supernatural pro promotion for your brother. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy. Mercy. I'm hearing the name Mercy. Mercy. Please sit down. Please sit down, Koinonia. Sit down for a minute. Mercy. Who is Mercy? Mommy. Some of you have been coming out for everything. Make sure that, make sure that, please, faith, faith, faith does not function in disobedience. Listen, faith does not function. Faith in one word I have taught you is obedience. It doesn't mean you have to come out to receive. Some people can even come out here, I've told you, and see, go back and nothing happens. So please, let's be orderly so that it doesn't mean that once a case is mentioned, whether it concerns you or not, mercy if you are standing in for someone please go back make sure you are the mercy yourself hallelujah i want to deliver a family of mercy from witchcraft hmm. this thing has tied people in that family down sincere people but they cannot rise when I begin to minister deliverance, one of the things that God is going to be taking from families is this demonic cloud of limitation that does not allow people to rise. It looks like the moment someone begins to rise, something just stops him. I will first pray for them, but that prayer is going to extend to everyone. Mercy. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands now. The Lord, the, this is why God brought you out here. There is a mighty deliverance going to happen. Father, every covenant 
that is connected to ancestry or any legal access that Satan has over the family of mercy that gives him authorization. I come by the blood and I declare right now, let that yoke be broken now, broken now, broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered right now. Yokes of ancestry, spirits of backwardness that keeps taking people back. Be delivered now. Please help our mother. Be delivered now. Hear me, for all of you who have come forward, I push you prophetically, go forward. Go forward. And as I'm praying for them, I'm declaring it over someone. Go forward. Go forward. In your life, go forward. In the name of Jesus. Like people will say, you take one step forward, and then you take 10 backwards. That is not the destiny of the believer in Christ. For the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. Is that in your Bible? That shineth brighter more and more. I'm saying it again to those of you here. In the name of Jesus, whatever has held you down, I prophesy to you, go forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. Let me take one scripture. Then we'll begin to minister deliverance. And then with healing. Hallelujah. I was going to give us a charge. I will still do it for a few minutes on the power of expectation please write the word is very important because that is the basis for the believers faith your faith is only built on the word the power of expectation what is expectation i wrote here a strong belief that something desired or anticipated will happen expectation is a strong belief that something desired or anticipated will happen that's what we call expectation that something desired something anticipated will happen in proverbs chapter 10 and verse 24 very quickly proverbs 10 24 the bible tells us that the desire of the righteous shall be granted that the desire of the righteous redeemed by the blood of the lamb that one of the benefits that comes with being in Christ is access to your desires granted. Desires, of course, that are in line with the will of God. In Mark 11 and verse 24, Mark 11, 24, Jesus was teaching on faith and here's what he had to say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, he says, when ye pray, Believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. I like the Amplify Version's rendition of verse 24 because it now brings perspective to it and it says, For this reason I am telling you whatever you ask for in prayer. In fact, one of the Amplified Expressions says that it is consistent to God's will. It says, Believe that it is granted unto you and you will get it this this expression of amplified says most believers please listen most people not know that expectation is a law it's not just when you do not have expectation you can cripple the hand of god from being made manifest in your life there is the law of expectation and that expectation is very, very powerful. Hallelujah. In 1 John chapter 5, I believe from verse 14 and 15, Apostle John in his epistle said, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, it says he heareth us, 15. And if we know that he hear us, Whatever we, whatsoever we ask, it says we know that we have our petitions that we desired of him. So God 
responds to the expectations of the saints. This is very, very important. The Bible is full of men and women who communicated desperations and expectations in the Bible and returned with testimonies. And the Bible is also full of others who trivialized the whole idea of expectations, even to their detriment. Many believers may wonder why you can be in such a strong apostolic prophetic atmosphere and yet surprisingly walk back with nothing because usually the problem is your expectation let me show you two examples in acts chapter 3 from verse 1 very quick reading acts chapter 3 and verse 1 the bible says peter and john went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour verse 2 a certain man who was lame from his mother's womb the bible says who was carried that they laid him daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful so he would ask arms from the people there verse 3 he says who seeing peter and john about to go into the temple asked an arms and then the bible says verse 4 that peter fastening his eyes upon him with john said look on us now verse 5 the bible says he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something from them you can give heed to people in sarcasm well let me see if they, i can get one or two things but the bible says he paid rapt attention expecting to receive something from them hallelujah and then you know the end of the story down to verse 11 the bible says at the end of it the man was was healed and it was something that the people wondered when you read verse 11 the bible says that the people were greatly wondering it became a sign and a wonder because of expectation example number two i like this one in mark chapter 10 i think the, the story begins from verse 46 this is a popular story of blind Bartimaeus. the bible says that they came to jericho reading to 52 and as he went out um, of Jericho with his disciples follow closely a great number of people followed them then the Bible says that blind Bartimaeus the son of Timaeus sat by the highway begging 47 when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out expectation and he said Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me 48 now the Bible says many charged him that you should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. 49. The Bible says, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man saying to him, be of good cheer, rise, he called thee. Now watch a very interesting conversation that transpired. And he casting away his garment in other words i know i will never have to need this garment again and he threw it away the bible says he rose and came to jesus now jesus answered and said to him what will thou that i do unto thee that would look like a, a very sarcastic question what would you think a blind man would be desiring from you it would be a costly assumption to assume that the man wanted his eyes to be open Jesus looks like a, at a blind man who had already stretched his energy in shouting and instead of him to just lay hands on him he says what will thou that I should do unto thee and the man said the blind man said unto him Lord that I may receive my sight the man at gate beautiful was not wanting healing he wanted money is that true the Bible says he was begging for arms in other words the apostles I don't need to rise just give me money to take care of myself keep the scripture there 50 now the Bible says verse 52 and Jesus said unto him go thy way thy faith demonstrated to your expectation had made thee whole and the Bible says immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way I like the end of that story. He did not receive his sight and he, then he went back. He received his sight and followed Jesus. Jesus told him, go your way, but he followed the way. 
go you receive your sight and go back but he said no now that i've received the sight i want to follow the one who gave me the sight are we together so there are many examples where people opened up their hearts to be expectant listen this is a very powerful law by the grace of god having ministered to people through the years i have seen how people trivialize expectations to their detriment you will be surprised that in such a powerful atmosphere as this there are people who may just come based on invitation or just based on the ritual of honoring a ministry's program and they sit down they celebrate they enjoy they laugh they jot down key points and go back receiving nothing because of the absence or the bankruptcy of expectations now let me show you the danger of not having an expectation acts chapter 12 please for sake of time we'll read verse 1 to 5 then we'll jump to verse 12. this was a story about um peter when peter was bound in prison it says now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church too he says and he killed james the brother of john with the sword verse 3 he says and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of unleavened bread verse 4 he says and when he had apprehended him peter now he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people verse 5 watch this peter therefore was kept in prison he says but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him so the church came together and they began to pray peter must not die lord rescue peter and you would think because of that dissipation of energy they had expectation let's go to verse 12 for the sake of time when you read from verse 6 to 11 the angel of the lord comes and then brings peter out we've read it many times here verse 12 watch this and when he had considered the thing the bible says he came to the house of mary the mother of john that was where the prayer was going on whose son name was mark where they were gathered together praying reading to 16 13 now the bible says and peter knocked <laughs> at the door of the gate a damsel came to hearken to him named rhoda 14 and when she knew peter's voice she opened not the gate for gladness but ran in and told how peter had stood before the gate don't forget this was the man they were praying for verse 15 and they said to her thou art mad but she constantly affirmed that it was even so and they said it is his angel can you imagine that verse 16 but peter continued knocking and when they had opened the door they saw him and were astonished that means while all that prayer was going on prayer changed peter you must go out of that prison they did not even believe there was no expectation that their prayer request came to their door and knocked they opened it and closed it back and said let's keep praying that's how many believers are father in the name of jesus i know you will turn my life around you will change my story and yet there is no expectation you would see these people praying a prayer group a prayer chain praying in the house of mary and yet peter delivered by an angel in response to their prayer he now came to the door it was not a vision peter was knocking the damsel came opened the door shut it for gladness returned back and told them stop praying the answer has come they say no we don't believe it just let him keep knocking now if peter went back in anger they would conclude from that prayer meeting that god does not answer prayers could it be that there are people here whilst you came here and singing dancing celebrating shouting amen but the truth is that you do not have definite expectations if the lord jesus were to stand on this pulpit right now this stage he would ask you the same question he asked blind Bartimeo. what do you want me to do for you god i'm tired of my issues that is not an expectation that is lamentation remember that's what happened in john chapter 5 to the man at bethesda jesus said what would i do for you he started complaining i have no man that's not what jesus asked him what do you desire 
That is the reason why you see we guide people by writing prayer expectations. It's a way of helping to articulate your expectations. Lord, I am trusting you to open a financial door. I am trusting that in the name of Jesus Christ, this and that would happen. Many people do not have expectations. And it's the reason why it looks like God does not reveal his outstretched arm towards them. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Paul admonishes us in Hebrews 11 and verse 6. Saying that without faith it is impossible to please him. He says for he that cometh to God. We've dealt with this in this house. The Bible says he must come believing number one that God is. Meaning he exists. And then number two that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In other words you come here whilst you are seated celebrating what God is doing already. There must be a definite expectation within your heart. Whether you are following online you are following here on site across all the overflows outside you must make up your mind that i am not just here to waste my time i have expectations and you see an expectation that cannot be articulated is no expectation at all what do you want god to do for you general lifting there's no such thing as that that statement already is both a sign of spiritual ignorance and then the fact that you are not prepared to receive anything. Are we together now? Yes. So faith, I wrote here, is expectation that is based on God's integrity and ability as revealed by his word. That faith is expectation based on God's integrity and ability as revealed by his word. It's impossible to say you have Bible faith without expectation because faith must be connected to an object, expectation. There must be something definite. Hallelujah. If you're with me, shout amen. amen. Tonight, many of us have come and sadly many are here and even though you've seen the power of god move already there are many people who are without expectations and the lord put it in my heart as we step into this second session of the miracle service that without an expectation sadly you may return back with no testimony at all because expectation is a law if it is bible faith it must be connected to specific things and specific areas where you want god to visit you I wrote a list of things here that represent many people's desires and expectations. Number one, marital issues. Number two, diseases and sicknesses, the things that plague people, that necessitate an expectation. Three, financial situations of all kinds. Number four, demonic oppressions. Five, the need for restoration. Six, direction of all kinds. breakthroughs deliverances from all kinds of yokes every time you see a people gathered unto God like this this usually are the issues that represent their pain that represent their expectations and until you are able to articulate it you look at anything in your life that does not reveal or reflect the glory of God you now connect Lord, I trust you and I release my faith that this situation must come to an end. For instance, I mentioned by the Spirit the case of people maybe having financial issues here. You saw the number of people who came. I was very impressed. It is a terrible thing to not know what is wrong with you. It is a terrible thing to not even know what you need. Are we together now? That's why the Holy Spirit guides us when we come. So that you will know when your word comes. And so that you will know when to receive and to manifest your testimonies. Your testimony will not pass you by. I wrote finally here that every genuine expectation is expressed in words and action. Please write. Every genuine expectation is expressed in words and actions. Expectations that cannot be expressed in words and in action is not expectation at all. 
every genuine expectation is expressed in words words there means you must be able to pray it and you must be able to take the necessary steps as required for victory every genuine expectation now imagine those who were just healed and delivered just like that did you know that if their word came as it came and they did not come out maybe they just sat down saying well it's none of my business you will be surprised that with the power of God moving up and down, it will pass them by because they did not. God will not force his power on you. I hope you know that. I'm saying this because when we begin to pray and we begin to minister deliverance and minister healing and so on and so forth. And then more importantly, your prayer request. No matter how accurate God has granted the grace, we see in part, we prophesy in part. This is why everybody is given the liberty to write your prayer request. Please let me encourage you. Don't get so used to just writing and submitting your prayer request. It is a very powerful tool. It is a way of guiding you by the Spirit to clearly articulate your expectations. There are things you may not have the courage to say here. Imagine how embarrassing it will be if I call you and I say, tell us everything that is your expectation. Some will be personal. There are things that is between you and God alone. That's why we write it and we pray over it here. And from here, it is burnt. It is nobody's business what you have written. Are we together? That means you should not spare when writing the things you are trusting God for. What things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray, you are a man of God and ministry is not working. No doors opening, souls are not being saved. You write it. Father, is supernatural breakthrough in ministry. Write it clearly. I have a son. What is his name? John. John does not seem to be a disciplined gentleman, write it. Supernatural restoration for John. I'm showing you how to prepare. You write it both in your heart and then on paper. So that when we begin to pray, as the power of God is coming, it is resting upon your expectation and turning it into a testimony. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.